So this is our 14th tutorial, I think. And um, what I want to show you here is some basic automation type things and also um, how to use normalization on some tracks and how to write an envelope, as they call it in Reaper, or um, manual automations by drawing. So what I'm going to show you first is how you would slice up a track to normalize it. I got an acoustic guitar here. I want to turn off the snap uh, right here. I'm going to click in front, press S to slice, and slice up all these areas. And then go to the next part, slice that, slice that, slice that and that and let's do this one here that's all there's that's all there's for the acoustic all right so now we're going to select these by click the first one and hold control and click the rest of the sections while holding control down now what you're going to do is right click on it and go to item processing and we're going to go normalize selected items what that's going to do for us is it's going to put the highest peak in the region that we just selected at the top. That's why we sliced it because if we had, if we did this one whole section here, these three notes, and one was really loud, one was kind of quiet, and one was, you know, medium, it would only do to the to the loudest one, and the other ones wouldn't be equal. So now the accents are all the same volume. So, which is good because if you're going to go ahead and use a um, a compressor and uh, you know that the peaks of your notes are going to all hit the uh, same amount. So. Anyway. So now, if we don't want it to hit the compressor that much, what we can do is if you look at the track and you put your cursor to the top edge of your... Uh, of your region, you see this little bracket that's facing uh, up and down instead of side to side, which would be right here. And what that does is it's going to pull down the actual volume of the item. So if you wanted these to barely hit the compressor at all, you can pull them down so you can manually level them all out. Put one up. So you can do a lot with this uh, this type of thing. You start out with the normalization, and then you bring it down to where um, where you'd want it to be. That's how you'd use the uh, slicing of regions and doing normalization, then using the item volume to control that and now a different way of doing that it's not exactly the same because it will hit your compressor just as much but what you can do is open up your um, enveloping view which is this little tiny squiggly line here and if you're using the original default theme I believe it's still a squiggly oh nope if you're using the original theme it's called a env or for envelope so I'll switch back to Apollo, highly recommend using it. Click on that, and now it's got all these crazy options. This is all, you can actually do plug-in um, automations and everything. So what we want to look at is just volume for now. So let's look at the volume envelope, which is right here. And now we have the envelope for the volume down here, and the bracket right here is showing us that it's going to pull up and down the entire thing which we don't want to do that what we actually want to do is we want to hold shift and it shows this little hand and what you can do is you can click on the line that makes a point see that point there and I would recommend making a point at the end of the whole section that you want to lower so that it doesn't affect anything after that because if you just you know start moving it it'll affect everything afterwards so if you make the point before and you make the point after, you know that the previous and the um, later stuff are all safe. 
So now what we can do is we can make a point right here and move it down volume and this one here is already it does a point by itself every once in a while we can go ahead and move this one over move that down so now this gets quieter too see if I had this back up where it was it would be a lot louder Okay, so now let's say we want to do a um, a panning effect. We want to have like a sweeping sound from one side to the other for the pan. Oh, and also when you switch your envelope, it shows um, you know the other ones up top on your actual sound, which is kind of cool. So you can still edit it. So let's say we want to do like a sweeping thing. So what we're gonna do is hold Control this time, or we're gonna make our point before, and we're gonna make our point after. And let's um, let's hold control this time, which brings out the pencil, which means that it's freehand here, so we can just draw how we want this thing to be. So let's we want this to start all the way to the left, and then sweep down during the strum, and then be down here and sweep up sharp. Next strum, and sweep down. I don't know what this is gonna sound like. This is just for illustration purposes. Left, and then hit and sweep up like this. Alright, let's hear how that sounds. So you get the effect. The control is freehand and then um uh, holding shift is to draw um, you know, more of an even more of an even mark so that's for that and then when you're done you can just um, you can bring it up like this and bring it small or you can click on the envelopes and just say uh, or click on hide all so it'll still do the automation but you just want to look at it Back by show all activity, all active. So, hey, that's a little bit of th uh, briefing on automations. So now, you know, let's just listen to these parts. This part here, put the whole thing in. get the point and now when we're all the way done um, let's uh, show you how to go ahead and render your uh, your whole thing so what I'd recommend is zooming out so you can see the whole track and selecting an area behind your last sound Maybe a couple bars you want to zoom in to make sure um, in case you have a reverb trail uh, you can put the snap to grid on for this part Click a couple bars behind. That's yeah, a little too far. A um, couple bars behind, and then bring it all the way to the front. And what we're gonna do is go to File, Render, and we're going from. This session is only at 44124, so we don't have to do any of this really. This is fine setting. Um, render time selection, so it renders everything in this. Uh, selection area here. I'm going to go to a wave at 16 bit and it's going to name uh, the file. This band's name is Circus Envy. So click on render. This is a this is a offline render which means it's just going to process as fast as it can. Render and it's going to go ahead and that's pretty much it. Uh, that's some of the basics of using normalization to help 
uh, with a consistent compression sound on something or consistent um, uh, response to your effects and also um, a quick look at um, simple automations and then bouncing down so you can burn it onto a CD. Thanks for watching Tutorials for Reaper. I'm Johnny from Red Sneaker Records.